We now move to September 2000. Microsoft releases its home user operating system, Windows Millennium Edition, or Windows ME. Windows ME was a successor to 98 Second Edition. Brought some new features, including, uh, well, it brought some new stuff, including Internet Explorer 5, Windows Media Player, and the first version of Windows Movie Maker. And this was targeted at the home user, like I said. But there were some very critical flaws in Windows ME, which uh, really painted it in a bad light. First of all, they completely stripped out real mode DOS. Basically, what this means is that if you have an app that requires real mode DOS, you won't be able to use it in Windows ME for some reason. And Microsoft claimed that this was to reduce boot time, but most users reported that it was pretty much the same with this Windows ME thing. Some uh, new stuff that they added also. Um, a lot of graphic design stuff we have something called the Windows Image Acquisition, which allows you to grab images from your camera, your scanner, and all of that. So an updated Windows DVD player, so that's cool. We have the image preview, first version of the image preview. And we got some new games. We've got uh, Batgammon, Checkers, Hearts, Reversi, Spades, and Spider Solitaire. It's all there. And we did see a removal of a lot of good things, including the personal web server, system policy editor, drive space, Microsoft Fax. And the reason they did this was that this operating system was meant for the home user, the lamer, if you will. And for the lamers, uh, it had low system requirements, 32 megs of RAM, 150 megahertz processor and 320 megabytes of hard drive space and it included the new system restore utility and system restore would take a snapshot of your machine and then restore it unfortunately it was very buggy including that it restored a lot of malware and that if you took a snapshot after September 8, 2001 it would not put the timestamp properly on there, so you would not be able to restore to it. And the main reason why everybody hated Windows ME was that it was just so buggy. It crashed literally all the time. If you plugged in a device, 50% of the time it would blue screen it. It was that bad. You could upgrade it to Internet Explorer 6 and make it even more buggy. And luckily, Microsoft would eventually replace Windows ME just a year later with Windows XP. But that's not for today. And now we're going to have a look at Windows ME. Alright, so here is the boot screen for Windows ME. And if you were watching the installation video, you would notice that the first part is missing. This is because Windows Millennium Edition is a pain in the ass to install and it did not accept the product key. A legitimate product key did not accept it. So, just have to wait on that. And whenever you did an improper shutdown, it goes ahead and fires up scan disk automatically. This would be annoying as hell for many users of Windows ME, including myself, who literally grew up using this operating system. Alright, so it's doing some system settings. I guess I didn't finish installing, I'm not sure why it's still doing that. Still waiting on it. Alright, so here is Windows Millennium Edition desktop. And we already get an error sound. That's good. That means it's working. 
So, as you can see, it pretty much uh, looks the same as before, with 98. Got the stuff on the bottom, the stuff over here, and all of that. Let's go ahead and have a look at Windows Media Player. And as you can see, Windows Media Player is a full program. It's not just a little window. So forget about it for now. What is playing? Go ahead and pause that. Close it actually. So let's go ahead and open up my computer. As you can see, it is pretty much not straight away from the Windows 98 window look at all. It's still got this left column thing here. We got some links now, see also, so that's nice. So got the address bar up here, back forward. That's cool. Got a show desktop, but we've had that for a while. Let's go ahead and open this up. And so I guess it blocks uh, me from viewing the file, so I'll just click that, and there it is. Goes ahead and automatically shows me the used space on the left side, so that's nice. Let's go ahead and have a look at IE. Internet Explorer. We use LAN. I probably should have installed VMware tools, but I did not. I did not have time, so... It should work. Well, I guess not. IE 5.5. Let's go ahead and have a look at System Restore. Many of you guys probably already know System Restore very well. And it's this little app that allows you to restore your computer settings and critical system stuff. We're not going to mess with the setting it up. Let's go ahead and have a look at everybody's favorite uh, video chopping program, Windows Movie Maker. The original version. This is where it's at. Goes ahead and throws up this guide. Ounce, ounce. That's about enough of that. So, as you can see, here it is. I need to change the resolution so you guys can actually see the bottom, but... This can move to the side. So we've got the timeline right here, and you would throw in a video. So yeah, as you can tell, I don't have a... Uh, I don't have very good color scheme right now. Probably on 256 color mode. Can't change the screen res, can't change 16 colors. Okay. So let's go ahead and open this up. What do we have? Windows Update. Cool. Alright. So we're going to forget about it for now. Let's go ahead and play some, uh, let's play some Spider Solitaire, the world's easiest game. No, it's not even worth it. Just close it. And so, as you can see, Windows ME was not very good at all. And consumers were sure to tell Microsoft about this, and this was the point where Microsoft should have cut DOS. And after Windows ME, they did cut DOS. They moved all of their... Um, they moved the home operating system and the workplace operating system to NT. And the next version of NT would not be widely accepted at first, but it would be a staple in the computer world, Windows XP.